Today is going to be the most important stream I've ever done, first of all. When former President Donald Trump was interviewed last month on Aiden Ross's show, he said it was his sons who tipped him off to the streaming star. They, they told me about how big Barron Yeah. Is. He said, Dad, he's really big. Barron was right. That segment got hundreds of thousands of views on the popular live stream platform Kick, over two and a half million more on YouTube. But it's another group of young men the former president is trying to impress. You can't vote for Kamala and be a real man. Some are calling it the bro vote. Trump drawing support in large numbers from young, mostly white men ages 18 to 29. The Republicans hope will have a major influence in this election. They really focus not on the policy, but on the personality. Team Trump knows it and is leaning in. There's a lot of social dogma about what it means to be a Trump supporter on a college campus, and I'm doing everything I can to helpfully mobilize my friends. Trump has shown that he's able to run the country better than Biden has. For their parents, it may be Tucker Carlson or Sean Hannity, but this generation increasingly gets their information from social media on everything from the economy to the border. I hear uh, like how many of families it affects. And that's what I see most about on Twitter and Instagram. This is a group that has come of age um, during COVID, where they spent a lot of time online, on social media. They were hearing echoes of Trump's version of masculinity on one side um, and conspiracy theories, government not doing their job. Online juggernauts like the Nelk Boys, popular with young men, have evolved from hypersexualized prank only content to political commentary, drawing huge numbers of eyeballs. <laughs> Following his felony conviction in New York, the former president's first appearance, a UFC fight. It's also where Trump created his first TikTok, debuting on the platform he once promised to ban. Shortly after, he appeared with Uber YouTuber Logan Paul, tapping into his 23 million plus subscribers in a conversation full of catnip for the faithful audience. Unidentified aerial phenomena in the sky. We don't know what they are. Do you? It's very possible. Former President Trump's show of strength following an assassination attempt also resonating with his base. This situation completely made him invincible. And this year's RNC tailor-made to amplify Trump's bravado. But for all of the former president's popularity among young males, it's also highlighting a growing gender gap. Recent polling from the New York Times Siena shows in six swing states, young men favor Trump by 13 points. Young women favor Vice President Harris by 38 points, a 51-point gap. And the Harris campaign hopes the vice president's running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walls, a former teacher and football coach with 24 years of service in the National Guard, may counter Trump's appeal with young men. The Trump campaign betting it's not enough. You ever been in a fist fight, Mr. President? <laughs> Probably not. To win the fight for the votes of millions of young men. All right, Garrett is joining us now here on set, and it is a very clear strategy, right, by the Trump mm -hmm. team based on who he's talking to. Look at this so. week, Lex Friedman, heavily male audience there. Talk through the gender gap dynamics here, because the Trump campaign is looking at similar numbers that we are. Yeah, that's right. I mean, first of all, the focus on men is very specific, and it's not male voters even. It's a universe of men who they think don't even care about politics in general, but they think if they did care, they'd probably like Donald Trump. That's and why they show up to vote. Yeah, exactly. If they can turn them into voters, that's why the celebrity focus matters. That's why just even being spotted ringside at a UFC fight is useful to him. There's been a lot of reportage on this and the idea that this gender gap is probably easier for Harris to improve her numbers with men than it is for Trump to improve his numbers with women. Why? The bigger issue, abortion rights. Mm -hmm. Trump is, you know, the architect of the end of Roe. He's very proud of it. It is a huge negative for him with women. And when you look at some of this polling, some of the most pro-choice or most in favor of abortion rights segments of the population are actually young, single men. And the theory is that if that issue can get brought in front of men, Harris can do better with men. There's just no path for Trump with young women, and he's not really trying. They've made no effort on this so far, and they're basically running out of time. Garrett, but if we see him on Call or Daddy, we'll I was going to say, yeah, if yeah. he ends up with Alex Cooper out, yeah, then yeah, it would be a yeah. very different story. Um, Garrett Hake, <laughs> thank you very you much. Appreciate Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.